Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and on my left, as always, the incomparable Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, and from what I understand, Michael, the standing room only signs went up early for this one. Can you believe I couldn't even get comp tickets for my girlfriend? No. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. A punch to the gut there. Oh, man, that had to knock the wind out of me. Nicely done. Well, on the topic of Enzo Amore here, well, tell us your thoughts. It's a tag team match, so the parts are sometimes greater than the whole. What can we expect here? This is the perfect situation for Enzo Amore. If his mouth writes a check, his ass can't cash, which certainly will happen sooner or later, he can just tag out to his partner. Man, what a team. You know, I really consider this duo to be one of the top in WWE today. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see Colin Cassidy live and in person. He's like a tree with legs. He's got to be nearly seven feet tall. Yeah, and you can't teach that, Cole. At least that's what Enzo Amore likes to say. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Aside from his overwhelming height, Colin Cassidy also brings a ton of street smarts with him to the ring, having grown up in one of Queens, New York's toughest sections. You know, Cole, you have a lot of street smarts. Sesame Street. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Agreed. And you have to wonder where this guy's confidence level is at this point. Colin Cassidy is making his presence known. This is the type of attack that just wears down an opponent. Yeah, and you can see it working right here. Street smarts and enormous size, huh? I think Colin Cassidy is going to do just fine here in the WWE. He's inflicting some serious pain here. to the entire WWE locker room here. That's it. He's out. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made it. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Enzo Amore finds a way out. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? comes in. Enzo Amore gets out of that one. Nice move. Take this look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. That's a good point, Michael. And I'm also starting to wonder if he's starting to lose confidence in his finisher after already using it with limited success twice. Well, the first two finishers didn't put him away, but the running cross body. Enzo Amore 
We just saw the finishing move for the second time tonight. This one could be over right here. Oh gosh, he must find a way to collect himself after that. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Here comes Colin Cassidy. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Bam! He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. A textbook reversal. Can he follow? Oh, look at the emotion. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Sending a message. What power. What a slam. What damage. Yeah, that sent a message, all right. Message of pain. Hey, big boot from Big Cass. Ow. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be it. Hot damn, it's exciting. And this one's history. What a win. That'll do it. Enzo Amore walks away with the W. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for a three count. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.